G'day everyone, hi and welcome to 40beers.com. My name is Matthew and um, I'm sure some of, some of you have been here before, but the idea with 40beers.com is a while ago. Uh, I got some beers for my birthday and I unwrap them and taste them live on camera. So today we have another individually wrapped beer. It is 19, what is it? 1985, so beer number 17 of my 40. Uh, I think you might have noticed a little while ago, was it the last one? I can't remember, the last beer review. Most of the little ribbons have been, have been pink, but this, the last one was green, this one is orange, so we'll see if that means anything or not. But, beer 17 at 40beers.com, let's see how we go. Orange ribbon, gone. And we'll see, now you probably, I think I mentioned I've been renovating, I've been doing a bit of painting. This wall behind me is freshly painted, probably hence the ethereal glow around my hair. But, I digress, beer 17 at 40 beers is... Oh, sensational Blue Tongue Pilsner. Blue Tongue Traditional Pilsner. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and suggest I've had these before. And the other ones were good, so let's see how we go. Now this, for those of you who don't know, a blue tongue is a lizard. It's a big lizard. It's quite literally, you know, bigger than this, this stubby. So, it's here in Australia. Blue tongues, they're, um, they're cute, they're cuddly, they give you a bit of a fright when you um, stand near them. Because they look like snakes when they're um, not, pretend not pretending to be lizards. And cool, check that out. I'm just sorry, just noticed on the um, on the cap. A bit hard to see, but there is a blue tongue on the cap as well. So we have sorry, I've ripped into this blue tongue traditional pilsner. Smells like a pilsner. Let's tip this around so you can see the label there, and we'll go chug a lug. Listen to that. Ha ha. A um, nice golden colour, lots of bubbles, beery, pilsnery, hoppy smell. Cheers. Ah, oh, once again, I've had these before. I will have them again. These are really good. Blue Tongue Traditional Pilsner. Specifically brewed with the finest malted barley and SARS hops. Brewed without preservatives naturally. What can I tell you? It is a 4.5% alcohol by volume. Our Pilsner, according to the label, is brewed in the traditional Czech style. We've combined authentic Czech SARS hops with soft hunter water and premium Australian malted barley. Blue Tongue Lizards from Australia, if you hadn't kind of worked that out. Australian beer. Our full-bodied Pilsner has a malty flavour, pleasant, pleasing bitterness, and fruity hop aromas. Think of Blue Tongue Pilsner as a first-generation Czech Australian. Well, it's brewed in the, um, by the Blue Tongue Brewery in the Hunter Valley, which is... Where's the Hunter Valley? It's sort of a little bit west of Sydney. Um... Sydney on the um, on the east coast of Australia. You go inland and maybe down south a little bit, but uh, or is it north? Anyway, it's west of Sydney. It's not far from Sydney. A couple of hours drive. Hunter Valley, Blue Tongue, traditional Pilsner. Now I don't know. It says here, fruity hop aromas. I suppose yeah. I suppose you can get that, but it smells like beer. Oh. And Blue Tongue Pilsner is really good beer. I'll put some more details on the website um, at 40beers.com. Blue Tongue have their own website. I'll put a couple of links. I'll put a few more details about Blue Tongue traditional Pilsner. Now, I think they have a bit of a range. There's Blue Tongue lagers and ales and things as well. Don't quote me. I could be wrong there. But I've had Blue Tongue before, and I like it. I like it a lot. Cheers. 40beers.com Thanks to Blue Tongue, thanks to Simon and Phoebe and Chris for my birthday beers. Oh, and I should point out as well, the other day, um, I think I mentioned a few beer reviews ago, it was Phoebe's birthday a number of months ago. Um, 
Simon and Chris and I gave her a balloon ride and she had her balloon ride the other day and Simon and I got a, um, a Yubu whiz bang breakfast and Phoebe went up in a balloon. Simon and I had breakfast for about 10 minutes with Phoebe but then we had a pleasant breakfast afterwards. We had champagne but we didn't have blue tongue pilsner. I was happy but blue tongue pilsner is really good. Go out and grab some. My name's Matthew. Thanks for coming. Please visit 40beers.com. Cheers. Oh no, it's not blue, sorry.